outfitter Jordan Wogu with three leadoff homers this season. Let's keep him around. Look out inside ball four and you got the center fielder he's got double digit homers and that one is up the middle and that's going to go through for a single Wogu is rounding here's your throw to third. He is out at third base trying to take the extra on a single to center a great throw from Pat DeMarco. Nine. Three one this one to right field and it is fair in the corner. RBI for Brewer. The ball has been hit hard twice now. He's heading to third. It falls down. He will get back to second with a double. But Michigan very aggressive lead at one nothing. So far the shadows of. Yeah. He's gone for a strikeout. For Drake Fellow. Now here's Blake Nelson the third baseman. Brewer is a threat to steal out there at second. This one is in the hole and with the speed of Brewer, he's being waved in. He will score. It's 2 0 Michigan. RBI for Blake Nelson. What a start for the Wolverines. Chases that. Tommy Henry, welcome to game one. Awfully impressive. Seven pitches. 3 2. And there you go. So. Look out. Greg Fowler. Once so far in this College World Series, and it's understandable why they have somebody up right now. Left field. This one's going to get down. Akeo Thomas will bring in Blumgren to third base, and being held there is Donovan. But a two strike hit for Akeo Thomas and a 3 0 lead. To him, he played high school football. Opted for baseball to third. That's fielded nicely by Martin across the diamond. That's a big out. Bouncer, and this is going to bring a run in. It's fielded by the shortstop, Ethan Paul, 4 0. That's Franklin. And this one hit hard, and that's caught in the air by Ethan Paul. Brewer turned it around. All right, so we'll start at the bottom of the second. Philip Clark, Pat DeMarco, Steven Scott. Henry first pitch that one's a hit and Vanderbilt got a runner on in Philip Clark. Ninety mile an hour fastball got a couple. Two two and he buried him boy he gave him at the College World Series. On the ground to third it's stopped by Nelson but he's got to eat it. That one was hit hard and Ray reaches. The air out there. This time Duvall goes into right center. It gets down. Brewer comes home. He go to second instead. Vanderbilt on the board. Bottom of the order delivers. Duvall an RBI. That one gets by. Coming in from third is Ray, and that's a second run for Vanderbilt. Big break right there for the Commodores. They cut the lead in half. One two he buried him with a slider and he picks up his. So Kurt the hottest hitter for two straight years for Vanderbilt if you don't have the ability to find it. When he does you can look up in about an hour and a half and fell up. See you later. Strikes out the side Drake fellow is a lot better and he's got a couple plays really well as his bat. Rip that one, and that's going to get down. He waited on that, and Austin Martin is aboard. Nine home runs on the season. This one, Henry may have deflected it, but it goes to the shortstop, and it's wow, what a, what a scoop over there by Jimmy Kerr. <laughs> no, she didn't like that. This is going to be a tough play. Martin charges, and no throw. Longren flew down the base pass. Let's this one is through. How about that rollover from Donovan? And once again, Michigan starts knocking on the door here with the green steals as Martin charges. 
gets that down. There's only one play. That's to first. Fellows throws him out, but the runners Albert Pujols, Aaron Judge, Justin Upton. Jam shot right back. They'll have no play at third. And Fellows fires to first. Kind of big for a few weeks. He's starting to nail them all now. <laughs> a few years. Slow roller Ray playing deep fields, and they'll get out of it. Nice job by Fellows. Couple leadoffs. Bad boy. Eddie ben Reigns. Parliamentical. Uh oh, got him. Come on, Rose, all in favor of that. And that's it. From one and two to one and three. That's a strike. That's called strike three on the corner. Slow roller here. Let's watch Martin field it. No, no chance. Wamgrim reaches. He's been on base all three times tonight with a couple. Not a cool story. Illinois was close a few years ago. Purdue was close a few years ago. But yes, as an overall. Call strike three. Nasty pitch. You've only been on the job for a little bit. You're already with your peers trying to celebrate a possible national championship. Chris, that's a home run off the bat of J.J. Blade, and that's the first one he's hit in Omaha, 27th of the year. Probably not what Jawan Howard wanted to see. <laughs> well, bad timing here with the home run by Blade. Uh, what's this experience been like to be up here and celebrate and watch the atmosphere in Omaha? It's been a great feeling for me personally uh, to be here to support the college basketball baseball team. Um, I'm so proud of the guys for the run they're having thus far. Uh, unfortunately, with the home run, I think we will bounce back. <laughs> You've played in championship games. As a player, what's important to focus on and not let those nerves and the pressure take over in those moments? Now, Pat DeMarco on the ground to short, deep in the hole. Blumgren, long throw, it's off the bag. Jimmy Kerr trying to hold the bag, but that's it. even Scott. We talk. In the dirt, that gets away. Now down to third base and have a hard time finding it is Joe Donovan. So he's picked up 100. A big 2-2 pitch to Steven Scott. Chases it and Henry. Shows a little emotion. He gets out of it with a slider. Good slider and a strikeout of Jesse Franklin. Meaning to that number 22. This one up the middle. That's Ray over there, and he will throw from the shortstop side. Safe. Good pick by Infante. Tough call here. First base. Yeah, they're going to review that, and I think he's going to be out. Perry Costello took his time with it, called him safe. Good scoop by Infante. Now, again, the question is is it in the back of the glove before the foot hits the bag? I say yes. It's a good pick there. And they positioned him beautifully as he grounded it to Ray. Call at first was originally safe, and wow. The 0-2 to Kerr. This ball is lifted high and deep to right. And it is gone. Jimmy Kerr goes deep again. What a story. Talk about a player just showing up in Fuego here in the College World Series. Jimmy Kerr hung him a slider. Second one that they've hung on him, and he knew it. Third home run of the CWS, left on left. One into center field off the bat of Blake Nelson. So back to back, hard hit. Go back to back, CG. Swung on, throw down. That one gets into center field. Here's Blake Nelson heading to third. 
Now we're getting a little more flavor. A lot of that information about the Kerr family with us. This one hit hard on the ground, fielded cleanly. Paul across the diamond, but... Donovan right off the bat. Raby gives up a homer to Joe Donovan. His ninth of the year, 7-3 Michigan. Bottom of the order for Michigan has created some damage in this College World Series. And Bienvenido El Juego. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to the... Raby comes in. Goes at you. If you're not focused, you're in trouble. So once he puts a tape on, he's locked in. Little jam shot from Wogu, and that's... Greatly. 3 1 to Brewer. Won't swing. Base is loaded. Fastball popped up. Sky high should be playable for Martin. Drifting back, and he makes the catch. And Nelson towards that area where we saw the ball drop last year in the World Series. In that Michigan pen and throwing pretty hard. That's a ball four. It was close, but a ball. Martin, 2-2 on the way to J.J. Blade. Big strike. 0-2. Oh, it's past the dive of Thomas. Blade will to third base and out is Martin, I should say, at third base. A base running error by Austin Martin. 1-2 to Philip Clark. Strike three. Henry through eight. Points to his right fielder, Jordan Brewer. His arm helps slow that inning down. Michigan's having a blast tonight. And he kept Vanderbilt's season alive. He acted like it was what he was supposed to do. I love this now. I love this. Oh, one Blomgren gets like that this. down. That's perfect. I love this play. For many reasons, he put the Donovan. That's strike three. Wogu <laughs> rips this one to right center. It's got some carry on it, but it's run down and a nice play by Jay. That ball left center field. Goes off the base of the wall. DeMarco into second, and he will be there with a stand-up double. Center field, a step in. Franklin goes back. Run will tag from third. Two down, 7-4. On the ground is short. Blumgren. That's it. And Michigan makes a statement in game one. He was phenomenal. How about Isaiah Page coming in with a strikeout of Austin Martin? Between what we're seeing some of the major league teams do with an opener, get through the lineup two or three times, turn it over to somebody in the bullpen on the corner. And Isaiah Page delivers a very short period of time. One, two. See you later. Strikeout number one for Kumar Rocker. How about setting the tone? He's a strike away from preventing Michigan from doing what they've done in every game, which is score a first inning run. Rocker Rock would have been back to allow <laughs> the second baseman to make that play. <laughs> DeMarco, the third strikeout victim of Isaiah Page. Do you think Vandy faces a pitcher like this with this, this velocity? Steven Scott sends one down the line, and this one is towards the corner looking up, and if it's fair, it's gone. Foul ball. Close. That's been red hot, hitting 325 in the 
four College World Series games. This one is hard on the ground. Kerr had to go under the glove. And only the second error that they have made at the College World Series. And that was the third out that went out. Of course, was an outstanding collegiate football player at Auburn. Chases one there at 94. And Kumar Rocker has three strikeouts. 0-2, Blake Nelson. Oh, boy. Kumar Rocker, strikeout number four. Eight straight strikes, the 0-2. Gone. Wow. Kumar Rocker, five strikeouts. Miami. 3-2. That one is into the gap, and it stays up, but not long enough for Brewer to make the play. Good job by Infante. This team is too good once they see you once. That one gets past the catcher right through Joe Donovan's legs, and we saw that a couple of times last night. That time. And now in a scoring position, Julian. Ten homers, 19 doubles. And this one's slow roller up the middle. Blomgren there, cut in front of the second baseman, and he makes the play. There's a little confusion out there between Blomgren and a KO 2019 draft. Left field, there's nobody there. Will Bullock be able to run it down? Yes. Boy, did he close quickly. Due to him, he and the catcher call their own game. This one on the ground, and that's past the dive of Austin Martin. Jack Blomgren takes a hard turn, but he will retreat back to first. So the first, he, at first. Really good bunt by Donovan, laid it down, and down to second goes Blomgren. Good job. That's up. And now Michigan has two men across the street from the university. Slow roller, runners go, and the runner is not tagged. They throw Wogu out at first, and he's hurt. Jordan Wogu may have hurt that leg of his running to first. Well, Kimberly Hill, the athletic trainer, Eric Backich, both out there to help Jordan Wogu, the sophomore. Uh, up with a handful of big two-out hits, Michigan, to get here. Not here, though. Six strikeout for Kumar Rocker. He leaves two men on. That's laced, oh, off the glove of the leaping Akeo Thomas, and Philip Clark's aboard with a single. Ooh. On the corner, strike three. Strikeout number four. Just back to ball. One, two. He's gone. Look at Page. Listen to him come off the mound. He continued after that, and, and since Chris Fetter came over from the Dodgers, the pitching coach, Pitching coach for Michigan. He was a minor league pitcher. Outstanding game for that guy, Tommy Hunter, last night. 2 and 0. Oh, and this one on the ground is short. That one is kicked. Long throw. Not in time. He is going this time. That one's high. Throw down. Diving play to make sure the ball didn't get in the center field by E. Who out? RBI for Michigan on the 3 2. He did he go? Yes, he did. No. So plays on. The one runner goes to third in the dirt, and they both will move up 90. That's their game. Two outs. And this one to short. Fielded cleanly in the throw over in time. They will strand two in scoring position. Rocker continues to roll along Michigan still. Austin Martin came to the plate. This one is in the left. It's going to get down. He... Threw one at 79, and now you get real good speed on the bases in Harris. If the fastball's not working, he'll go to the slider. He works quickly. This one up the middle. Taylor made double play ball that goes underneath the legs of Blumgren. And wow, that's costly. Perhaps staring at the bag before he had the ball in his glove. And first and third for Vanderbilt. Nobody out. Let's keep, a, let's keep an eye on his eyes. Let's see where they were tracking if it was the ball or the runner. See him take a peek right before the ball came in to see exactly where the runner was right there, then go back down. But by the time he got there, the ball ate him up. No chance, crossed his feet. Watch him take a peek up, then look down. Fought in this game in the fifth inning, 0-0.
Three, two. Got him. Almost a quick pitch as Kaiser picks up his first strike. Slow roller, tough play. They'll get the run. Oh, what a nice barehanded play by Blake Nelson for the second out. But Vanderbilt on the board as Ray comes in to score. He did the job. And that highly charged emotional showdown with the Cardinals. In the dirt that gets past Joe Donovan. And now to her in scoring position. Maybe a little cross up there as Donovan gets together with Ben. That's a good one, and that's in the hole. Fielded, fired to first. Oh, that's a big play by Jack Lundgren. That's a filthy pitch. 94 at the knees on the corner. A little uptick. A rocker that makes you think that's not the last time that he and history are going to be connected. There's a strikeout. It was called by Philip Clark as well. Not wins will force a game three. Michigan trying to come back and win this and thus get a championship. But a good start to the top of the sixth inning. Two on, nobody out. Season. I'd let him swing away here. He didn't. He laid down a good one. Who's going to get it? Throw it a first tough play and a good one. That's well done by the Michigan defense. Duvall. No nope, bounce it. That one gets all the way to the backstop. That's going to bring one run in from third. DeMarco. He overthrew it. A walk first and third. Two nothing. Van He now runs the athletic program at Vanderbilt. And he convinced Stackhouse to join him there. Stackhouse was. Three, two, he swings at ball four. That one was caught. Lede is out. About a half hour from his last pitch, Kumar. That one hit hard. Great shift off the foot of Ray. Plenty of time, but beaten out. Jesse Franklin hustled. 12 homers, Jordan Brewer this season. And this one is to left off the end of the back. Shallow left field. It's going to drop. Like a backspin off of tennis. Blew it by him, and he liked that one. Any adrenaline. This one down the line and right. Lede going over, and he's there to make the play. So they had two men on, and they can bring none of them in. Kumar Rocker all fired up as he comes off the mound through six. Vanderbilt, 3-0. The uh, Peterson abode. Let's get this straight. It rises in the east, sets in the west. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Get my bearings. <laughs> Don't catch me with those on. This one is hammered down the line and right with some carry on it. It is over the wall and a home run for Philip Clark. That'll get some high fives and you can see the former coach at Vanderbilt football wise now Penn State's and Franklin is right there. They became very good friends while they were at Vanderbilt. But Clark's home run makes it a 4-0 Vanderbilt lead. Over 100 miles per hour, 103.4 to be exact. Slider. Good backspin on it, and this ball left on a line. They branch off to go elsewhere. Those relationships generally stay strong. Left center field. Franklin came in, now he's going back, and it goes off the wall. He misjudged that one off the bat of Steven Scott. He's in with a. And this one popped up center field. Franklin he lost it. You got second. it. He got it. That's. And.
into the bat. That one's going to get down in front of the left fielder, Scott. Last couple of hits have been off the end of the bat, may have fallen well short of the left fielder. I test says it. The other thing is, is just the way that he reacts to big moments because it, it doesn't feel like he thinks it's very big. I think they're going to get a balk right there on Rocker, so base runner will go to second base. He thrives in the bigger moments. The emotions don't get too. Look out. Wow. That was scary. Wow. That one came right in on Donovan. I, I would protected himself with the bat with the bat. Oh my goodness. Put the head down. I do not blame him one bit. That is scary. He's lucky he didn't hit his finger too. Watch that finger wrapped around the front of the bat. Or he gets to see if he can work on it during the game. Strikeout number 11. That's why he doesn't throw it very much. Because that one is so good. 3-2, that's in the hole. Blomgren rounds third, he's coming hard. He's in there safely. An RBI for a KO. Thomas and Michigan's on the board. Strike three and say goodbye to Dominic Clemente. Pull that one, it gets by, and that'll allow Thomas just to jog down to second. But the tying run now comes to the plate. Green pitch on the corner, and Brown sends Brewer back to the bench with a bat in his hand. Ender build that the score holds tomorrow in game three. Line shot right at second. Quick inning for Brown. Well, you're right. Valuable. Three. Flint of game seven. You get game three in college baseball. Blumgren spinning. Don't even mm -hmm. stop. And the out is made. Boy, he has come up with huge plays. A web gem for Harrison Ray. In Nashville tomorrow night, and certainly in Ann Arbor, and all the alumni across the country and the world seeing if their team can win a championship. One out away, Vanderbilt from. That's fair. That's Martin. And that's the game. Let's have a game three to decide this year's college. Tell of the home plate umpire. And the first pitch in there for a strike for Mason Hickman. On the season, Akeo Thomas, 370. And that one in the left field, it's going to get down to its start for Akeo Thomas and Michigan. It's his 40 year run here in Omaha as coach of the Seminoles. That one is ripped into right field, it gets down. Thomas to third. And he will be there standing up, back-to-back -back hits for Michigan to get it rolling tonight. Living with two out hits and two strike hits. That one is another one in the left field. Franklin was on the move, he'll put the brakes on. But three straight hits to start, and the Wolverines are up one to nothing. We've seen this before to be the outstanding player for them if they win. Chases that one and he's gone. Mason Hickman's come back and picked up two strikeouts in a row. Chases that one, not a bad job for Mason Hickman. After he gave up three straight wars in the top of the first. Strike three at the knees, and Martin has to go back to the dugout. One miles an hour. Yeah. That's ball four to Ethan Paul. He draws the walk. Right away he goes. Throw from the knees. Short hop. Bertram is still on a base. Swinging. Fourth strikeout of the game for Hickman. Played lineman at Auburn. 
won the outlet in Lombardi Trophy. This one is hammered to left by DeMarco, and it is gone! Pat DeMarco with one swing has tied this game up. We could see this coming yesterday. Barreled one on a line, and he's had some really good at-bats. A hanging slider. See the spin? He sees it perfectly. Great balance. Stays right behind that baseball. No doubt about it as soon as he hit it. Seventh of the season for the sophomore out of Staten Island, New York. Lou Rocker, and that's about what you get out of Tracy. He just sticks his paw up there and sees Chase is a change up that I would doubt to see that four strike late in counts. Oh, two, and he chased it. Coffin bounces back with back to back strikeouts after the home run. Coffin is inching away. He got the last two pitches called strikes, and how about back to back to back? Oh, I have wheels in my chair, and I just move right a good point. out of here. You're tethered. You can't go oh. far. Be careful. <laughs> This place would just become a wreck if you pulled back real quickly. That's on the corner and a strikeout. Mason Hickman. Gone from right field in this College World Series. He's gone too. Boy, Mason Hickman locked in six strikeouts. Little pitcher's duel going there as Julian Infante is retired. That's the fourth. One and two, and that one is pulled fair. Nice play over there by Nelson, and a scoop by Kerr. There you go, Blake Nelson and Jimmy Kerr. Taking 10 steps further back. Well, you saw the game plan there. We are not going to let J.J. Blade and his 27 home runs beat us. As... Ooh, hammered up the middle. Check the exit velocity on that one as Baudet pulls into second, but Ethan Paul hit that hard right by Kaufman. Ball four, and now they are loaded with Commodores. Ball four, Vanderbilt takes a 2-1 lead. Close was that pitch that was. That one is ripped up the middle and through. Ethan Paul scores. Philip Clark waved in. And Scott delivers a two RBI hey, single. Hey. Vanderbilt four, Michigan one. That's time. Two walk to DeMarco. Scott was not waiting around. He knew he was going to get a fastball. Fastball was up. Hit it right where it came from. Up the middle. Driving in two. Scott with another big hit in this College World Series. The Everett's sandwiched around three walks. Ray shallow and backing up and now getting underneath it is the shortstop Jack Blumgren big mark go back. I bet they're decent next year again. <laughs> and Mason Hickman, Hickman. Hickman. My goodness better than sure. They're Sonny Gray. They're, they're Donnie Everett. Yeah. Has to be impressive to any 16 and 17 year old. Runner goes. Blumgren sends this one into center field. It gets down. It nearly got by DeMarco but uh. Donovan right at the shortstop to throw back to first. Safe. Not in time. Heads up. 3 1. Runner goes. That's outside, and they are loaded. This one into left. And on a line, it's caught by Steven Scott. They will strand three. Thomas squared it up. Eric package. Call upon Chris Well. That's another walk to lead it off, and it may. <laughs> Last time I heard air dry.
Last time I. Three, two. That one was dropped. Boy, that one was fairly close to a case. Led the country in home runs this year. One, two. That's up the middle. That's good for a hit. Duvall being waved in by Corbin. That ball really slowed down once it got to Franklin. And J.J. Blade delivers the fifth run for Vanderbilt. We said it earlier, even with runners. This one to left. Bullock in the sun there to make the play. Tagging and scoring. Here's Martin. 6-1 Vanderbilt. This one shallow and it's going to get down. And again, playing deep is Franklin. Blade held at third. A lot of times. You... Another thing for Michigan pitching tonight. Five walks on the night. Four have scored. Right field Brewer just short of a track. He's there to make the play. And then before the Illinois final at bat in the stadium, Chesney's songs play. They end up rallying and winning. And a lot of them have the message come from because back it just had Tom Brady, the GOAT, another strikeout. He's had Chesney, Margaritaville, like just kind of chilling out. All the above, man. You just push go. Kerr, left field. This one's going deep. Steven Scott going back right at the wall. He leaps and makes the catch. Scott chases that. Two down, two and two. Ty Duvall. See you later. Good inning for Chriswell. Nothing across. Orlander, a spin rate guy. I have them all in front of me. I'll tell you this. The it's it's pitch dependent. All right. So I mean you so it could be a sick key offensive roles. Right. That's when you really have a chance to win the whole thing. Strike out of Infante. Wheels up on in relief. He's nearing the 50 pitch count. On the 2-2. Two -two. Call strike three. Well, they thought that was ball four. Would have only been ball house in Ohio during the winter time. One down as Donovan strikes out. That's spinning and it's going to be stopped over there at third. Nelson's long throw. He had no chance. And they got a couple of guys backing up. Are there different requirements on these guys? One thing we've seen change the most, and I don't. Nothing. I don't think it's it's just in college baseball. I think in many ways it's college sports in general. Is coaches that will adapt to the per you, you can delegate, but you've got to make sure because these guys are a little more prone to activities that the major leaguers wouldn't be. You're got How would you compare the two? That one's in the left. That's going to get down. Marco steps on third. He comes in to score. And an RBI for Harrison Ray. Mandy. He found to be the most beneficial. It's all the other stuff that went with it. Strike three there. Both these schools providing us. Got a bunch of real mature players, and as a result, find themselves leading seven to one. Hustling into second, diving head first with a double and a good way to show we're not done yet. Towards the seats. Oh, good running catch over there. No, did Infante get the out call or not? Yes, he did on the transfer. Tom Morris. Well, Morris was there. Kerr is gone. That was an un Jimmy Kerr swing. Was here yesterday. And that one's in the left field. That's going to get down. That's going to bring in the second run of the night for Michigan. There's Nelson into second base and a little life for the maize and blue. Good to see from the senior right there. Blake Nelson getting another. Gone and Vandy is three outs away from a College World Series championship.
Still batting the bottom of the eighth. When we the day walks. And this is the third time he's been on tonight. Can tie a College World Series record for games finished. It would be his fifth one if, in fact, he finishes this one. Ethan Paul gets a hit, and they go station to station. This one into right field. It's going to get down in front of Brewer. He slips, fires it back in. And Bode touches home. Day in, day out, nighttime. Hey, want to make sure you know we're still interested in you? We're here in Omaha. Would you love to be a part of this? DeMarco under it, one down here in the ninth. Chases it, strike three, and they're one out. Not yet, press pause. Center field, DeMarco. There to make the catch, anchored down. Vanderbilt on top of the college baseball world again. on the diamond here at TD Ameritrade, right in the middle of it, the freshman Kumal Rocker and all the emotion and energy that went into this thing for Tim Corbin.